Teeth Today has set the standard for tooth replacement using dental implant treatment as an essential part of aesthetic dentistry and dental health. With us now is Dr. Jeff Ganellis. Doctor, please tell us about your practice. Teeth Today started with a desire that my patients expressed to me in the early 90s that they didn't want to wait for their teeth after implants were placed. And the science and the techniques developed during the 90s so that we were able to predictably place teeth on implants and get patients working and get them smiling and get them chewing almost immediately. So it's been a huge benefit to our patients and it's been a great uh, addition to our practice over the years. How long has your center been here? Uh, I've been in practice in this uh, location for over 20 years and I hope to be here a lot longer. Dr. Ganellis, how many patients do you have? We've treated uh, thousands of patients with uh, teeth today since the mid-90s and uh, the practice has been here for over 40 years. I've been part of it for over 20 years. With regard to immediate loading, what is unique about your approach? I know our practice is unique in providing these Teeth Today services because I speak all over the country and all over the world. And I know that very few uh, practices and very few doctors uh, have their patients walk out of their offices with teeth with the same frequency that we do. We have a policy here, it's almost a motto or a mantra for our office, that nobody leaves here without teeth. And we really believe it and we work hard to make sure that happens. And what's more, it happens predictably without a lot of drama, without a lot of fanfare. Other offices make a lot of uh, representations that this is exotic or special. It's routine for us. We do it all the time. How do your patients find out about your center? Patients find out about us uh, through a lot of different ways. Some are referred by their dentists. Some are referred by other specialists. Some people find out about us through their friends. Others find out about us on the internet. Uh, there's a lot of information about what we do all over the place, and uh, it's hard to figure out sometimes where people come from. Please tell us about the benefits of dental implants as compared to the older conventional alternatives. Dental implants are designed to replace the roots of teeth that are missing. And because of that, they provide new support for replacement teeth, for crowns or for fixed bridges, or even at sometimes removable bridges. Uh, they are stimulating to the underlying jawbone, so they actually promote bone health, and they're much stronger than using natural teeth to support crowns or bridges or some kind of removable devices. Uh, dental implants probably last a lot longer than any conventional kind of dentistry does. Dental implants don't require that adjacent teeth be damaged. Uh, once enamel is removed from a tooth, it never comes back, and that usually causes deterioration, it causes the need for future treatment. When implants are done well and they're healthy, they can stay there almost forever. Please tell us more about the benefits. There's a lot of benefits to having a healthy mouth, whether it's done with implant dentistry or other methods. People that have ongoing dental disease have all sorts of other health issues associated with it. There's no question that there's an association between bad dental health and diabetes, or bad dental health and cardiovascular disease. Uh, there are probably some associations between bad dental health and Alzheimer's disease. Uh, there may even be associations between bad dental health and obesity. By treating the underlying dental problems, uh, we can certainly make someone healthier overall. Now, we also know that there are some very interesting associations between d good dentistry or good dental health and longevity. For instance, if you're 70 years old and you've lost all your teeth, you're five-year mortality is almost twice that of someone who hasn't lost their teeth, who has good dental health. We don't know for sure that replacing those teeth with implant dentistry is going to make you live longer, but it certainly is going to make you live happier, and it's going to make you more confident and uh, more robust in your social interactions. What can be done for someone who is missing one or several or all of their teeth? If you're missing one tooth, uh, it can almost always be replaced with a dental implant supported crown. And uh, that's something that's a fairly routine practice in our office uh, these days. Uh, same thing holds true if you're missing many teeth. It's relatively easy to replace a few teeth with implant supported crowns. 
If you're missing all your teeth, we have special procedures that can do that very quickly and very efficiently as well. The key is getting a proper diagnosis, getting a good plan, and getting some skilled help to help uh, provide these treatment options. Tell us about the technology implemented in your practice. We have all sorts of technology these days that help us uh, accurately diagnose and then properly plan treatment for patients. We routinely use cone beam computed tomography, also known as a CBCT, which gives us a three-dimensional picture of someone's jaw bones. Uh, with that, we find where the strength is, where the weaknesses are, and we can also avoid uh, nerves and sinuses and other areas that we don't belong. Uh, we also can use that information to accurately plan positions uh, for implants, and that's called computer-guided surgery or computer planning. We also make surgical guides based on that computer technology so that we can position those implants exactly where we want them safely and uh, very atraumatically. A lot of times when we use this technology, we can place implants even without uh, opening the gum. So there's no stitches, there's almost no pain, and the healing time is very quick on these. What happens when patients first come to your practice? When patients first come into the office, uh, we know that they're always a little anxious, so we try to go out of our way to make them feel welcome, feel at home, and feel safe, because we know that this is uh, one of their big issues. A lot of people get into dental trouble because they're not comfortable in dental offices in the first place. So our office is designed to have kind of a warm, cozy, but professional feel to it. We take a thorough medical history because we need to know what your health status is. We need to know me what medications you're taking. We need to know what you're allergic to. Uh, we will do a thorough examination of your mouth and make sure we know uh, what teeth are there or are missing, what kind of condition those teeth are in, and uh, whether they can be counted on to stay healthy for the future. We also do an oral cancer screening because oral cancer is one of the types of cancer that unfortunately is increasing uh, in our population. So we want to make sure that w there's nothing else going on there. We'll look at the, your neck, we'll look at your uh, jaw joint, make sure there's no facial pain, and we'll also probably take some kind of x-ray. Usually that's going to be a cone beam uh, computer tomography or a uh, type of CAT scan, which gives us a three-dimensional view of what your jaw bones look like. Why is it important to know all about the condition of a patient's jaw bone before going forward with treatment? It's very important to know the uh, shape and the density of the jawbone before any uh, treatment is done because that has a big impact on the success of treatment. Uh, if there isn't enough bone, we have all sorts of techniques that can change that or improve that, uh, but we need to know it up front. If uh, the jawbone is uh, porous or uh, there's some osteoporosis there, we also need to know that because, again, there are some methods we can use that can compensate for those underlying problems. The success of implant dentistry in the long run really depends on how solidly those implants are placed to begin with. And it is very important to have that information before we get started with treatment. One of the big problems that patients uh, come to us about is problems after they've had treatment. And typically, the big reason that patients run into problems is because they never had a good diagnosis in the first place. We don't want to have surprises. We want to make sure we know what to expect when we get into treating someone. And a thorough diagnosis is the key to making sure that you are treated safely and predictably. What patients do you typically treat? The perfect patient for us is someone who is either missing a tooth or is about to lose a tooth. Other than that, we can treat almost anybody. Uh, we tend not to put implants in growing children. Uh, we tend not to put implants in very, uh, we tend not to put implants in patients who have very fragile health. On the other hand, we do put implants in patients that are older than 100, and they do really well. We put uh, implants in patients that have controlled conditions like controlled diabetes, controlled heart disease, controlled hypertension, uh, controlled kidney disease, controlled metabolic problems. All of these people can be treated safely and effectively and predictably. Teeth Today is more than just a dental implant center. It's also a periodontal practice. Please tell us about that. All the doctors at this Teeth Today Center are board certified periodontists. As periodontists, our specialty is to uh, treat teeth and gum disease or replace teeth that are missing from gum disease. Teeth Today really addresses the replacement side of what we do. 
On the other hand, we have a very robust practice where we also take care of gum problems. So if patients have loose teeth, uh, often we can uh, strengthen them or tighten them. We can uh, manage gum disease. Uh, there are all sorts of procedures we have to fix uh, gum recession, uh, to grow bone back around teeth if it's not uh, too bad. And we can uh, restore someone's dental health uh, without taking their teeth out an awful lot of time. I understand that some patients coming here expect they'll need implants, but you might instead find that periodontal treatment may be all they need. Is that so? One of the strengths of our practice is the fact that we're periodontists, so we have this mission to save teeth that can be saved. So if you come in here, we're going to look at you with the idea that we're going to try to save your teeth first. We're not locked into the idea that we have to replace teeth all the time. We have lots of treatment options and treatment styles available. So we're going to customize treatment to your individual problem. That means that if you have teeth and they're weak, we're going to look at strengthening them first. If we can't strengthen them, then we're going to look at replacing them, and that's where Teeth Today comes in. How much of your practice is with implants and how much with periodontal treatment? About two-thirds of our practice is related to tooth replacement or implant dentistry. The other third is related to saving teeth and managing periodontal problems, which means that we uh, fix uh, gum disease, uh, we can tighten or help tighten loose teeth, and a lot of times we can regenerate bone around um, teeth that have uh, underlying bone loss. So we have very uh, different options available depending on the patient's problem. Back to implants, please tell us about the All on Four. All on Four is the trade name of a style of uh, treatment for patients who are missing all their teeth in one arch. Uh, the process requires placement of four implants around the jaw and then uh, activation or loading of those implants with a one-piece screw-retained uh, fixed bridge. Uh, the benefit of this is it's a very efficient use of implants because you only need four to replace a full arch of teeth. The other benefit is that it is designed to really make the best use of a patient's available bone. It generally avoids the need to do bone grafts and many people that have lost their teeth also lose the bone along with it. Uh, a lot of people are under the impression that they can't have implants done because they don't have enough bone. All on four often allows us to overcome that problem without doing any bone grafts. Uh, it's only one of several different techniques that we use uh, for patients that are missing teeth. It happens to be one that is gaining in popularity because it is fairly time efficient, cost efficient, and uh, easy for patients to undergo. Uh, and there are some very sophisticated applications we can use it for. Please tell us about dentures. Dentures are a plastic set of teeth uh, that you put in your mouth and sort of fit over the gums to replace missing teeth. The lower denture is generally held in by gravity. The upper denture sometimes is held in by suction. A lot of people use denture adhesive to hold those dentures into place and prevent them from moving too much. Uh, and there are all sorts of problems with the dentures, the adhesive, and the whole concept of dentures. Uh, dentures generally are not too comfortable because they tend to move around a lot. So patients often don't have very good chewing ability with them, and uh, they can't have fresh fruits and vegetables, and their diets tend to deteriorate. Dentures cover the roof of the mouth, so it tends to reduce a patient's uh, taste sensation, and it also reduces their uh, mouth feel of foods because it, the palate is covered by plastic. Dentures sometimes cause patients to alter their speech patterns because it covers the roof of their mouth. Uh, a lot of patients talk about the embarrassment they have when dentures slip or move and it's particularly uh, unattractive to think that dentures may move when you're kissing somebody or a fear and loss of intimacy as a result of that. So dentures have all sorts of problems. The only advantage of dentures are that they're relatively inexpensive. The alternative to dentures is really having teeth that are permanently attached to you. And that's where dental implants come in because implants act as anchors to the jawbone for a full fixed set of teeth. And the benefit of that is they fit and feel and function just like natural teeth. There's no more coverage of the palate, uh, taste sensation returns, uh, patients get confident because they know that these uh, teeth are not going to pop out on them. They never have to take them out when they go to a hospital or when they have anesthesia done. 
Uh, you, when you're questioned whether you have something removable in your mouth, you can check no again, and that's great for people who have suffered with dentures for a long time. And they just provide you a much more natural replacement for missing teeth. Dentures are like wearing a wig in your mouth. They fit over the gum just like a wig fits over your scalp. It's never comfortable. It's never natural. You never get used to it. How do patients care for their dental implants? Home care for dental implants is just like home care for natural teeth. You have to brush them. Uh, it would be great if you can floss them. Sometimes they are not in particularly convenient places to do that, so we use irrigators uh, to do that so you can flush food and uh, debris out from underneath. Uh, you have to see a dental hygienist periodically to make sure that they're clean because dental implants uh, occasionally get problems just like teeth do, uh, where they can get inflamed gums and other problems. If that happens, uh, we have procedures and methods to remedy that before it fails, uh, but we have to be able to see you to make sure we intervene before a big problem occurs. What about complications patients may have had with their prior, less experienced dentists? One of the biggest problems we see these days are complications of patients coming in after being treated in other places. And uh, there's a number of methods that we use to address this. The first is a lot of times we can solve those complications because we have enormous experience dealing with implant dentistry. Uh, I've been doing this for over two decades and uh, in our office we probably have close to four decades of experience of implant treatment. So we have virtually every part, every instrument, every uh, material, and every technology available to assess and manage complications. That means anywhere from a failing implant to lost bone as a result from failed implants. We can treat that and we can f find a way to make it work. The best way to avoid complications is to make sure that you're seeing someone who has the knowledge, training, and experience necessary to make sure that the job gets done properly. I understand you often have to correct mistakes others have made. Many dentists these days are advertising their expertise in implant dentistry and many of them have gone to a couple of weekend courses to gain this expertise. That's not the way it's done. Patients should look for experience, they should look for track record, they should look for specialty training, uh, they should look for surgical training for dentists who are going to place surgical implants. Uh, they should look for training in hospital dentistry, training to make sure that uh, the dentist is aware of medical conditions, uh, training to make sure that the dentist uh, has the capacity and the tra ability to overcome surprise problems. We are specialists who provide implant dentistry, and we are also the go-to people when there is a problem with complications. We manage all sorts of complications. And that is a very big growing field for us because unfortunately there's a lot of uh, doctors and patients around that uh, produce lots of complications. I know that in healthcare, getting the lowest price doesn't necessarily mean you got a bargain. Uh, very often, uh, lower priced uh, procedures offer, very often lower priced procedures have poorer quality materials and lesser trained doctors performing them. Uh, to me, that does not represent a bargain. To me, that represents a danger. Uh, that's a risk. And I don't think patients ought to be taking risks with their health, and certainly not with their dental health. Please tell us about anesthesia. You want to make sure that the dentist that you're seeing offers different anesthesia options. Implant dentistry can be done so that there is minimal discomfort uh, after treatment and no discomfort during treatment. Uh, but it is an anxiety-producing process for a lot of patients. We offer a lot of different sedative options to make sure that we can manage the anxiety as well as all of the uh, anesthesia requirements. Uh, sometimes we use oral sedatives, sometimes we use intravenous sedation, and there are different levels of sedation that we offer as well. Your practice not only utilizes the latest state-of-the-art technology and equipment, but the very best materials as well. Please tell us more about this. All the materials and supplies that we use here are FDA approved, first tier, or top quality materials. There's several different uh, grades or, uh, of manufacturers in the implant dentistry world. We only use those that really are recognized as the best in the business. Dr. Ganellis, 
In general, patients have always dreaded oral surgery and implants, believing it's a process of many months. However, your practice, Teeth Today, is precisely that. Please tell us about it. Traditional implant dentistry uh, taught that implants needed to heal for several months before they were used in treatment. Uh, now we're talking about using these implants immediately, which sounds like a contradiction to the an original process. In reality, they're very compatible. The key is to make sure that the implants don't move during the healing process. We use the restoration to help hold the implants in place so they don't move during treatment. It's just like having a uh, leg casted uh, and then being told you can put use some light function to it. That little bit of use and movement stimulates the healing process and accelerates it. So we can safely put in implants, we can safely put teeth on them, we can tell you to go function and you'll be okay because the implants will heal and they'll function and they'll be even better than if we did the old traditional methods. How can implants replace natural teeth? Implants work because uh, bone attaches to them directly. Uh, there's no space between them and the bone actually gets fooled into growing right onto the implant surface. So the implant becomes part of the jawbone. Once an implant heals, we consider this a permanent bond between the implant and the surrounding bone. Thank you, Dr. Ganellis. Resolving serious dental issues actually becomes nothing less than a positive, life-changing, and uplifting improvement to one's life. We'll hear from some additional patients coming up.